Hey everyone, I'm Paul, and today I want to show you a new scan tool. This is the C-Reader Elite. This is an all-system scanner for all Toyota and Lexus vehicles. This is an all-system scanner for all Toyota and Lexus vehicles, 1996 to 2024, with free lifetime updates, so it will work in the future if you get a new car. In the box, you get a user manual, and the scan tool itself looks like an old Android phone with a sturdy-looking rubberized case and an OBD2 connector. You also get a USB-C cable to connect it to a computer. This tool won't turn on by touching the screen. You must connect it to a car or a computer. This is a 2016 Toyota Tacoma. I'm testing the scan tool on this vehicle first. The OBD2 diagnostic connector is located under the steering column. Plug the scan tool in here. The scan tool powers on as soon as it's plugged into the car. Turn the key to the run position. You don't need to start the engine to read codes. The scanner starts by reading the VIN first. It will display some basic information about the car, then you get to the main menu. Selecting Diagnose will give you access to all the computers in the car using the Toyota-specific software. The scan tool gives you a vehicle health report where it scans every module for codes. Here you can see the engine, transmission, ABS, airbags, air conditioning, and four-wheel drive are all good. The combination meter and navigation have fault codes. When it's done, you get a nice diagnostic report all in one document. If you're connected to Wi-Fi, you can click Share and email the report. Let's go back and see what those trouble codes are. It says, lost communication with brake system module and open in turn signal circuit and that other code is an error in the navigation system. My friend says everything works fine in his truck and there aren't any burnt out light bulbs, so I'll go ahead and clear those codes. From the main menu, you can select OBD2. This is universal for all cars, and this is what you want if you just have a check engine light on. Here it says there are no trouble codes. Let's go to Live Data. Select all parameters, and let's start the engine. This screen will show you data in real time from all the sensors in the engine. There are five pages of information here. When you get to the bottom of a page, just keep scrolling and it will load the next one. You can also select one of the sensors to display it on a graph. Let's look at throttle position. When I rev the engine, the scan tool draws a spike in yellow on the graph. It's a little hard to see in the video. A graph can help you find sensors that cut out partway through their movement. Let's go back to the main menu, Diagnosis, then System Selection, All Systems, and look at SRS. That's the airbag system. Read codes, and there are no fault codes. You can also read the data stream for the airbag system. This one won't have much going on unless you're crashing the car while you're playing with the scan tool. Let's take a look. The computer knows if the seat belts are buckled. Let's try the left side. It changes to Set, and then unset when you release the seatbelt. Let's test the right side. Okay, and the seatbelt switches both work. Let's see if there's anything interesting in the ABS system. Read fault codes? There are no codes. You can use this scan tool to actuate the ABS pump to help you with bleeding the brakes. I'm not doing that right now, so let's just play with some indicator lights. You can turn on different ABS system indicators on the dashboard. Now let's go to the ECM, or Engine Control Module, and do an actuation test. Once again, you have plenty of options. I don't even know what most of this stuff is. This is definitely a professional level tool that gives you access to everything. Cylinder Fuel Cut looks fun. I'll deactivate cylinder number one. You can see the idle dropped and it runs rough now. Let's go back and check out the TPMS system. That's Tire Pressure Monitoring System. There are no fault codes. You can also scan the body control module. Start with the fault codes. There are no codes. Let's go back and do the actuation test. I wonder if the door locks work. Yes, they do. Do you think the horn works? Let's find out. Yes, it does. I just scared some lady in the parking lot. Let's see how the scan tool works with a 1997 Toyota RAV4. OBD2 became the standard in cars back in 1996. This car is very old, so I don't expect a lot of options here. I'm turning the key on, but not starting the engine yet. 
hit Diagnose, and VIN Scan. It sat on this screen for almost a minute, then failed to get the VIN, and I had to type it in myself. Not the scanner's fault. I'm blaming the car for this one. The computer in this car is much slower than in the 2016 Tacoma. Every loading screen takes at least 15 seconds. It says 1997 RAV4 at the bottom of the screen, but I still have to select the car. Weird. Now it's scanning all two computers in the car and generating the vehicle health report. There are no engine or airbag codes. I'm at home with Wi-Fi, so I have the option to email the report. Go back and it says the OBD2, ECM, and airbag systems are good. When you select ECM, you get all the factory Toyota options. Read fault codes, and it tells me not supported, then says no trouble codes. This scan tool doesn't communicate very well with this older car, but it works if you're patient with it. Let's try an actuation test. Slow loading screen again, and I want to test the idle air control valve. I have an error because the engine is off. With the engine running, it shows the idle air valve duty cycle, and I can type in different numbers. I changed it from 78 to 50, and the idle went down. Type in 89, and it revs up. Type in 10 and the engine almost dies. This is very useful for finding out if the idle air control valve is stuck. Now let's try to read codes from the airbag system. I waited for a while, then it said no input from the computer. You can't win them all, I guess. You can also go into generic OBD2 mode. There are no actuation tests, but I can read engine fault codes, look at the data stream, and check the inspection maintenance monitor readiness. It says there are no codes. Finally, let's test this Toyota scan tool on my 2017 Hyundai Tucson. I don't expect access to Hyundai systems, but OBD2 should work. Hit Diagnose, and it does the VIN scan much faster than in my old RAV4. I'm selecting the Hyundai software, and I don't have the Hyundai software, but I can buy it and download it to this tool. Let's try OBD2. It's showing the VIN, the check engine light is off, and the IM readiness monitors are complete. There are no codes in this car. I'm checking inspection maintenance readiness monitors. This is what you need when you get your emissions testing done. It shows here the car has tested all its emission systems. I can also select live data. I'm selecting all engine sensors, and I have four pages of data I can look at. I want to look at engine RPM on a graph. Sometimes the scan tool doesn't respond very fast if you have a lot of things loaded. Here we go. When I rev up the engine, it draws the RPM on a graph. I wonder what happens when I floor it. Hmm, this car is smart and won't go over 4500 RPM. There's also this button on the screen for upgrading software and updating the tool. You'll need Wi-Fi to do that. My final thoughts on this scan tool, it works really well on newer Toyota vehicles. If you own a newer Toyota or Lexus and you do your own car work, you can save a lot of money by scanning your own engine codes, ABS, TPMS, and airbag systems. Now, for the older car, for my 1997 RAV4, I found this tool is actually very slow and it spends a lot of time on loading screens. For the old RAV4, I actually prefer the basic tool this YA-201. Now I don't get airbag codes with this, I don't get actuation, but the OBD2 and data stream work, and it's very fast. You can find this scan tool on Amazon. It's called the Launch X431. Right now they have all systems versions available for Toyota and Honda vehicles with the option to upgrade software to add other brands. Follow the link in the video description if you want to buy this scan tool. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.